Today we're going to talk about speed, and it's got some math in it, so we're going to do some math. Speed is the distance an object moves in a particular amount of time. In other words, how far you go and how long it takes to get there. So speed is equal to distance divided by the amount of time it takes to get there. So, for example, miles per hour. Okay, and that would be one way you would say that, like if you usually travel miles per hour. So, write that down, and let's look at some examples. Okay, so distance, it, it's the speed is distance divided by time. So, we have one mile per distance. hour. One mile is the distance. Mm -hmm. Hour, so we have one mile per one hour. Okay, so here we have two miles per hour. I'm just going to do it like that. Three miles per hour. Pretty easy. Four miles per hour. And, of course, six miles per hour. It takes an hour. We, in an hour, we can go six miles. Okay, it's a little harder here, but it's the same principle. We have one mile divided by two hours. So that's one half, or 0.5 miles per hour. Okay? All right, and this one is two miles divided by two. Two over two is the same as one. One mile, and you could also say one mile per hour if you prefer, or do like that, same thing. Okay, so this next one is going to be three miles divided by two hours, or three over two, it's 1.33 miles per hour. So, let's see. You want to fix it? This equals, that's the total right there. Oh, okay. All right. So three, divi three divided by two equals 1.33. Correct. Okay. That's correct. Very good. And same thing here. One divided by two is equal to 0.5. Okay. Does that make sense? Got it. Okay. So then the next one's going to be four miles divided by two, two hours. Four over two is two miles per hour. Right there. Okay. And the last one is the same thing. We've got a six miles over in two hours. Six divided by two equals three miles per hour. Okay. Let's do, we'll do this last one. This one for you here. And I want, I want you to do these last on your own. Okay. So it is one mile divided by three hours is equal to what? One, one third three. is mm -hmm. point three three miles per hour. Okay, so okay. that's how that one works. So go ahead and you finish out these, this one, this one, this one, this one mm -hmm. on your paper. But we're going to move on. I got little red dots all over my sheet. Oh, no. That's okay, because we're going to talk about on a graph, you can actually just look at a graph and tell kind of what's going on. I mean, without even doing all the calculations, we'll do the calculations, two miles per minute. So if we were looking at two miles per minute, the first minute we would go two miles, right? Mm -hmm. The second minute we would go four miles, right? Mm -hmm. So because we're going to go up by two. So the third minute we would go up by two, which would be six okay. miles. So this is miles, okay? The next one we would go up by eight to eight. Next one we would go to ten. And these are miles. Okay, and I think you kind of see a pattern here. Right. If we were to put a line through all these, and we could probably extend it right on up. That shows that we're going. Okay, I didn't do that perfect. Straight line. But it's a straight line. That means we're moving at a constant motion of two miles an hour, two miles a minute actually on this one, two miles a minute, okay? So once again, using speed, distance over time, two miles,
per minute. So we're going two miles a minute and we're ma making a constant motion. So we know that is a constant motion because it's, okay, it's supposed to be straight. Yes. Now, next one, let's see, you can also have constant motion. Let's say you're tired and you're at 15 miles, okay, and you take a break. Take a break. You stop right there. So you're at 15 miles and you wait a minute. Well, the second minute, you're also still tired, so you wait there. You're still at 15 miles, right? Mm -hmm. And the third minute, you're at 15 miles. And the fourth minute, and you stay there for, oh, eight minutes, right? And you rest. Well, <laughs> you can see by the graph. It's a straight line. It's a straight line, and you didn't go anywhere. You stayed at 15 mile mark, right? Or So you didn't go anywhere for 15, for eight minutes so you stayed exactly the same it's constant motion still at zero miles per minute so even if you're not moving you can still have constant motion yes or in this case constant motion of is nothing. of standing, standing still there. right okay and then you, there's other things you can do for example what if i said okay i'm going to start out slowly and move up so i'm going to double my speed every time okay i'm going to double my speed so i'm going to start out here and I am started at, at one um, mile a minute, right? Mm -hmm. That's pretty fast. And then I'm going to go to three miles a minute. Then I'm going to double that. I'm going to go to six miles a minute. Then I'm going to double that. I'm going to go to 12 miles a minute. Then I'm going to double that and go to 24 miles per minute. And you can see I could take this curve right up. That means I'm accelerating. I'm going faster. See how that, that makes a curve. Mm -hmm. It's not straight anymore. No longer a straight line. It's a curve line. So that tells me that I am moving faster and faster and faster. Does that make sense? Yes, there's a change. There is a change in the motion. Okay? All right. And you can show that in different ways. Here, I went from one mile a minute to three miles a minute. And here's from three to five. So you got tired. I kind of got, was kind of consistent right there. I, you know, I just moved up. I'm just staying about the same. But then I just stayed there. I got tired and I didn't move. So that means there was what? No motion. No motion, no motion there because it was straight. Remember, straight means no motion. But then I got rested or whatever, and I went even faster. Notice how this is steeper than this one. So I went at five miles a minute. So all of a sudden, mm -hmm. I'm going faster here and slower here. Okay. So and if you no just looked there. at this part of the graph, could you say this is constant yeah. motion? If you were just this? to look at this, that would be constant. That, that would, would be constant. But overall, there's a change. But in motion. overall, there is a definite okay. change in motion because it's it's goes from here to here, and it's not the same. If it was the same, it would be a, just a big straight line. That would be right. a, that would be no change. It would be at a, a constant motion. Right. Okay. So here to sum up, in this graph, there are three different types of constant motion. We start out right here. Yeah, I like the red, but I'm going to do the red. We start right here, and we're going moving, but slowly. Okay. Here, it's straight, so we mean no. So we know it is stopped, right? Right. Because we're not moving there, it mm -hmm. stays the same. It stays right about that four mile an hour mark. But then here, it goes faster. So we got slow. Slow change and then a fast change in motion. So that would be sl changes in motion. Okay? So that would be changes and they're not necessarily constant. All right? Okay. Okay. And to sum up, when looking at a graph, you can tell when motion changes because the line is not straight. Oh. When the line is straight, there's not a change in motion. Okay. It's, it's moving at a constant speed. It's when there's a change, like when there's a curve, a change in motion means there is a curved so line. So even though it's a little curve, that's still a change? That's still a change. You're accelerating as okay. you move. You're getting faster and faster and faster and faster. Okay. Whereas here, you're just, you're exactly the same. You're exactly the same here. You're exactly the same here. Now, these three are different, 
but you're the same within that little segment. Right. Okay, so those are a change in motion, but you're consistent within those little mm -hmm. things. Okay, so that's how you can just look at a graph and see changes in motion. Now we're going to give you some to work on on your own, so you'll have that later. Till next time, say goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.